this is one of the most asked questions in last few days so how to estimate cost and save money using llms so if i will give you a couple of examples of what people are asking so what they want to know is how much will i cost if i am using openai as my llm or will i will my cost differ if i am using davinci variant over text ada or something else like turbo 3.5 and another similar question in the same line is will i be charged how much will i be charged with this much of data are my credits sufficient enough to experiment with my data so all these are the questions which evolve around money and for almost every one of us wants to achieve more with less money that is the ultimate goal which we all are having when experimenting with these new stuff so in this video first of all i will show you how can you calculate the estimated amount based on your data and for this i will be writing few lines of code after that we will see few tips and tricks which can help you to reduce some of your cost let's move on to vs code where i will be writing few lines of code for you okay so the very first thing we need to do is we need to uh, we need a dictionary which will hold the mapping between the models and how much charges each model is uh, charging us so let me construct a dictionary here and inside this dictionary we need some data which we can directly pull it from the documentation so i'm on my open ai documentation and here you can see all these models let's go and pick where we can get all the information okay let's pick this one so here it is discussing about four models the training one and the usage one and the respective charges with respect to thousand tokens so definitely you can experiment with the rest all but let's start with the similar uh, simple one and you can replicate that very easily so i'm going to this one and yeah i think i need to paste some of the data and this we need four times okay let me do this okay then we'll go back to documentation and we'll simply pick these words Uh, you can uh, rename them based on how you are using whether you want to use complete text ada or whether you want to just mention ada it's completely on you it doesn't matter at all it just it is just used when you want to know how much it is costing you so let's keep it here and so our key would be the model name and our values would be the price how much they are charging against thousand tokens so you can go with both but let's start with this one because i just want to give you an idea how i am doing it so this one next i can grab this one and finally the da vinci okay so now we have the dictionary ready and we can say that ada is going to cost you 0.004 dollars per thousand tokens now we have this initial data ready and you have to change it as and when it is changing okay next thing we need to know is how much my data will cost so in that case i should know how much tokens my data is consist of so for that we need to import tick token or you can use any other strategy which can just get you the token count for given text so i'm going with tick token and then we will define a function let's say calculate tokens which will take some text and will return integer okay uh, so this is the same code which we have written earlier also tick token dot get encoding and inside that i will go with cl 100 k underscore base so definitely you can change it based on whatever you want to use 
and then we'll say tokens equal to encoding dot encode which will take text as the parameter and we will simply say return length of tokens so these uh, four lines will uh, whenever you are passing some text these four lines will tell you how many tokens are required for this given text okay next thing we need is let me execute this as well next we need to calculate the estimated cost so for that I'm going to define another function calculate estimated cost which will take model as a parameter and how many tokens our text consists of so this is just a simple mathematic cal mathematical calculation wherein we will use uh, these numbers which are against every model so these numbers like I said these this is the cost which will uncut for every thousand tokens so I would say and model which is passed by the user then we need to multiply it by total number of tokens divide by thousand because this is the price for thousand tokens I think we didn't make any mistake okay let's run it let's execute this as well okay so we are done with just few basic functions there are there's nothing fancy which we are doing here next thing is we need to see how much it costs so I'm directly going to call this so let's say I'm interested in ADA and my text length is somewhere around 4000 so in your case definitely you need to call this function to calculate it I'm just taking it as an example so if you are having a text file then you need to read the text file extract that content and then call this particular function so but right now for simplicity I'm assuming that my text is having 4000 tokens so if I'm having a text of 4000 tokens this is what I will be costing so I need to pay this much for 4000 tokens for ADA so this is the simplest and the easy way you can calculate this and I would suggest you to just make some nice small UI uh, with this kind of stuff so whenever you want you can just select your model from the drop down and your calculation will appear over there so I'm not going to do that okay so now based on the tokens which we have calculated we need to think of the chunk strategy like chunk strategy will tell you how many documents will you create based on the given set of documents so now question is why do we need chunk strategy let's say you have a small uh, document or just a small few lines of text then you can pass your entire text uh, to the LLM but if your text is too huge or your file is having 100 to 100 pages or you have multiple documents from which you want to get responses in that case you will end up having rate limits as well as the token limit issues so if you want to get rid of those things if you do not want to get tripped with those issues then you have to split your text into small small chunks and that's where your chunk strategy will come into the picture so your chunk size should be very optimal you cannot go with the very short or very long that call you have to take based on uh, your data and which LLM you are using so in particular if you are going with LangChain then you have few options like stuff refine map reduce and everyone will give you different kind of responses if you're not sure what these uh, chain types are I would suggest you to go back and check my video wherein I have explained all these things like what would be your response or pros and cons of map reduce what will you get if you are going with stuff as well as the refine so that is one part which i have already covered so it's not about lang chain i am sure other offerings will also have similar kind of things in place wherein we can take a call or about how we can create chunks or how we can pass data so once this chunk strategy is defined the next thing comes is the prompt and most of you are already aware that token limit is not restricted only to the prompt it includes our input data as well as the response 
so which means that uh, we should keep our prompt very concise and clear so that with just bare minimum information we can get best results out of LLM and once we are able to control our prompt then we are left with only two things which we need to work upon first thing is the output length how long will be your output or how you want your output to be so you can control that output length by supplying the maximum length parameter and if your output exceeds beyond that then definitely your output will get truncated at that point itself so in that case you can utilize this max length output parameter and the second and the most important thing is the input data so how can you reduce the length of your input data we have already chunked it that's okay but how we are going to pass those chunks to LLM that is the biggest challenge which we are having so when we are saying that it's a small file, definitely it can go in one shot. But if it's large file, we have already chunked it down. Then we need to see that out of those all chunks, how many, how much data is actually relevant to our query or the question. So instead of passing all the hundred chunks in one shot, what, what we will be doing is we will be identifying just the relevance uh, between all those data. And then we will say, okay, these are the documents which are related with this particular query. And for finding that relevance or the relatedness, we have to use some mathematical concept on like every model is having its own way. So, but most of them are relying uh, using dot product or the cosine. So if you are using or calculating a dot product or cosine for your embeddings, then you can definitely get the closest match for the given question so once you received the relevance now you need to take a call on how many relevant information do you want so let's say initially you are having 100 documents and 80 of them are related so it doesn't mean that we are going to pass all 80 to our prompt right we have to reduce these 80 to 5 or 6 so that we can ultimately achieve our uh, token limit uh, goal which so that it will not go out of the limits now for reducing this you have to make sure that you are setting that uh, relevance limit accurately which can suffice your need and if you are able to do that then I think we are good to go and we will get a pretty good output based on how we are designing our prompt so it's all around like relevance calculation and how you are generating your embedding and if you follow all these best practices then i'm sure we can save lot much of money so i hope you find these steps useful and do let me know in comments about your strategies of saving money while working with llms so that's all i have for today i hope you enjoyed watching this and thanks for watching